A picture paints a thousand words, no more and no less, exactly a thousand. An image gallery is a really easy way for you to manage a large number of images for your customers. If you've got projects, a portfolio of work, or images that you need to showcase, this is for you. You can have as many image galleries with as many images as you'd like within your website. The image gallery is very easy to use, but be sure that you watch this video as there are a couple of things that aren't obvious right from the get-go. The first thing to understand about the gallery is because you can have as many galleries on your website as you'd like, you first need to create an image set. An image set is essentially a collection of images. You'll basically use one image set for each gallery. To create a set, click on File Set and choose Go to the File Manager. This opens up the familiar looking File Manager, which shows all of your files and images that you've already uploaded to your website. It also gives you the ability to upload your images that you want to have for your gallery. Let's use the multiple upload function. Click Upload Multiple, click Add Files, and then find the files on your computer. You can select multiple files by holding down the control key as you click them with your mouse. If you want to select a whole heap of images, click on your first image, hold down the shift key, and then click the last image. Click open, and this will add all the files you've selected to the upload queue. Click start uploads to upload all of your images to the site. Once they're uploaded, this window will appear. If you choose the Sets tab, you can actually create a new set by making up a name and clicking Update. For now though, to illustrate how to create a set from the File Manager, just click Close. As explained, your File Manager lists all of your files. To create a set from these files, just click the boxes next to the image that you'd like to add to your set. Then select from the drop-down box Sets. Give your set a name. This can be anything you'd like. To help you keep track of your sets later down the track, this makes something meaningful. Because you've just created your set, you now want to leave the file manager. So, we're back in the gallery app. Choose the set you've just created and click add. Your new gallery has just been created. Now, you'll probably want to order your images and give them titles and captions. To order your images, simply click on the image that you'd like to reorder and drag it to its new place. To add titles and captions, simply go into the Titles and Captions tab and name each image appropriately. The title can be displayed below the thumbnail of each image and the captions are displayed under the image once a visitor clicks in to zoom in on it. One of the more basic customizations you may want to do is to find how many columns your thumbnails appear in. Simply type in the number of columns into the columns box. Please keep in mind if you have too many columns for the space available, you'll need to reduce the size of the thumbnails to fit the space. The gallery allows you to customize the appearance of your thumbnails and the appearance of the zoomed in images as well. You can choose what thumbnail size you want by entering the pixel size in the thumbnail width and height boxes. If you only have a few columns, you can make these images bigger. If you have many images, you can make these smaller. These are the maximum image sizes. Most people just leave them these by default, but if you'd like to experiment, change the thumbnail sizes and view your site to see how your gallery looks. Likewise, you can choose your zoomed in image height and width. Most people leave these again as the default of 800 pixels by 600 pixels, but feel free to get custom if you'd like to. These are the maximum image sizes as well. The gallery is clever enough so that if you've uploaded an image that's smaller than the maximum width or height, your gallery image won't stretch. Your gallery is extremely customizable too. Under advanced features you'll notice two options, enable cropping and display thumbnail titles. 
Both of these options are turned on by default, and we recommend that you keep them on. Enable cropping essentially means that the thumbnails of the images are cropped, so the thumbnails look uniform and display consistently across your website. You can't control how your images are cropped, as it's system generated. Some clients, photographers in particular, require that cropping be turned off so that their thumbnails display in full, so the full frame of their photo is in the thumbnail. Feel free to disable cropping if this option feels right for you. If you do, however, it's usually a good idea to upload images of similar dimensions so that the thumbnails look consistent. Display thumbnail titles just refers to whether or not you'd like the thumbnails to display on the titles that you've typed into the Titles and Captions page. Most people leave this turned on. The Enable Light Box tick box is basically asking you, do you want your images clickable and zoomable? Most people leave this on as well. The transition effect refers to the effect that displays when the image is clicked on. The options are a subtle fade, an elastic zoom effect, or no effect at all. It's entirely up to you. If you'd like to experiment with these and see which effect would work better for you, feel free. The caption position refers to where the captions are displayed when the image is zoomed in on by your visitors. Most people just leave this as the default, but if you'd like to get custom, feel free to experiment with these settings too. Your gallery comes free with an app called Zoom Image. Your gallery is ideal for listing multiple images, but if you'd like to display one image on its own, use the Zoom instead. If you've ordered the gallery, you'll find Zoom Image in your list of apps.